Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Future Stars, day one has happened. We're headed into day two. I want to talk about all the market movements that we had and why the market is doing what it's doing. It's not really flying in some areas right now. I just think there's so much hype and so much desire for these brand new cards, the Future Star items, that that is just basically making everybody go crazy and wanting to try these new cards out. So I want to take a look at all the content we got yesterday, what that means going forward. And of course, today, I think we're expecting an SBC today for a Future Stars player, either today or Sunday, based off of the EA information that they gave us earlier this week. But we're already off to a good start with this promo. I'll say it. We're already off to a good start. And I think it's already better than Team of the Year because there's just so much more that we can do to interact with this content. More people, you don't have to have a 2 million coin budget to interact with uh, these Future Stars cards. You can go buy a Future Stars item. The cheapest one is 80, 5980K, right? You can try these cards out on a lot cheaper budgets. And of course, these are just fun cards in FIFA. And I think that is what is making the market move the way that it is today with just so much interest in trying out these cards for fun, these brand new items. Because EA did the business today with the juice. And I want to talk about that for the second. EA, I think we had a pretty good player selection today by EA, right? Reyna, Kamavinga, Bergwijn. Not sure why Bergwijn's in there, but he got the four-star, four-star. That card's looking kind of cracked. Harvey Barnes is dope. Kulusevsky is sick. Dest is one that a lot of people wanted. Sabosalai, I don't know how to say his name that well, is a really cracked out card. James is insane. Uh, Delo, Isak, and Lunar are also pretty solid as well. So this is going to be a two-week promo. They did indeed tell us that that was going to happen. And again, they're rating these future stars uh, on the peak of their career if they reach their full potential what it could be like so uh, They also mentioned the future star Academy players, right? Which is what we had last year. Where we had the tiered objectives. That's gonna be starting next Friday So team two of the foot future stars is when we're gonna see them multiple upgrading Objectives now today we did get an objective as well. That was the main man Tonali So this is a flashback to last year's future stars with a moments Tonali SBC uh, Giving him a club 80. This is a really really awesome value objective card in my opinion uh, This card is insane. Honestly, it's club 80 with 90 passing so not too hard to do it as well I started on it tonight with a couple games. It is in uh, manager of masterpiece. So again, um, it is in the lower rated mode. So, you, you know, I think it's a little bit easier to get this one done just because everybody's kind of on the same level per se with their squads, but that's a really nice uh, objective. We also had this future of football objective, which gets you a 50 K pack for playing with players in squad battles, uh, or rivals under the age of 23. So you have to win matches, assist five, score eight, and you get a 50 K pack. So not too hard of a grind to get a 50 K pack to open up. And today, speaking of the pack weight, that was one thing that was very interesting today on Friday uh, was the pack weight. I mean, we have 100K packs in the store, 3.9% for these Future Stars players. One thing that I did not expect, for some reason, I don't know where these people got saved up packs from, but the week after Team of the Year, people had so many saved up packs today because a lot of these... Uh, Future Stars cards were their cheapest in literally the first 30 minutes of them being on the market. We had guys like this Dest was down at 330k. Uh, Reese James was 350, 360,000 coins. Kamavinga was 2.3. Reyna was like 1.5. Uh, Bergwijn was a million coins flat. Kulusevsky was like 420. So this Sabolasai card was 480k the first 30 minutes in. He went all the way up to 800,000 coins. So that is why I think we saw the market do what it did yesterday. We didn't see a big of a mark as big of a market rise um, elsewhere on the market. We saw it all happen right here with these brand new cards. Now other stuff on the market did pretty well. We'll take a look at some of that stuff in a second, but. A lot of these cards had incredible, incredible rises. This Kamavinga card, it's, it's going to be hard to see on the graphs, but if you guys were on the game and you saw the prices, you know, right? You know, this guy was 2.3 mil. He went all the way to 2.9. Can I get a sales history on Kamavinga right here? Can I get a sales history? If we go all the way back to the beginning, look at these. 2.3, 2.3, 2.31, right? A couple in the 2.4 range. Uh, later, three, four hours after the content drop. 
a couple sales right near three mil, and now he has since kind of dropped back down. A lot of these cards have really dropped back down in the past couple hours. Now, when you're watching this upload, they're probably gonna be kind of meandering around that same price point, but these cards did drop down tonight and they're still decently rare. They were they were heavily supplied in those first 30 minutes. And I'm not sure where people got all these saved up packs from. I think they must be people must have been used to grinding league SBCs and nobody opened their weekend league rewards today because everybody literally went out and opened packs and had saved up packs right away at 6 p.m. UK, which made a lot of this stuff um, you know get supplied on the market right away. So I bought a Bergwijn tonight at 1.05 because literally the Steven Bergwijn card today went from 1 million coins flat all the way up to 1.25. And right now there's a lot of listings at 1.2 overnight. I'm going to give this guy a shot. Actually, I'm going to play with him in game. But he got back down to 1.03 uh, earlier tonight and I almost missed the boat, but I got one at 1.05. I bought a, Kuluse a Kulusevsky at... Um, 469,000 coins as well. He's about 490 right now. So I do think these cards are going to bounce back up from where they dipped down earlier this evening. These guys are going to fluctuate like mad, right? They're going to fluctuate like mad. And of course, I traded with some Bernardo Silva informs um, and some um, Diogo Jotas. I made about 50, 60K from all of these cards right here. And that was trying to cover up from this Beckham card, man. I'll give you a, guys a piece of advice here. This baby Beckham card, um, I thought he was going to be a great trade today. I bought him at 1.19 and I literally had to sell him for a tax loss because this guy, look at that, 1.102. Nobody wants this card. It's crazy, right? It's so expensive because of the Rooney links. And it seems like everybody has forgotten about Rooney, I guess. I don't know. But, um, Today was a very interesting day in the market because there were some cards that went up very nicely. A lot of icons, there were good fluctuations on those. If we take a look at the index icon, of course, it was 90 points uh, early into the morning on Friday, dropped down to 800 or sorry, 85 points, went back up to 88. So there were some icons you were able to flip today. Icons always do well. We shouted that yesterday, but a lot of the out of packs cards, the team of the year, the, some of these guys didn't even rebound. Lewandowski is 2.5 mil. This is the cheapest this guy has ever been. Bruno was just 4.2. Manuel Neuer has been 500k. This Trent was 1.3, but with Reese James coming out, he was down to 1.1. So it's like there was somebody that posted a picture on Twitter today of one of those memes where it's the guy that's like holding his girl's hand and he's, he's looking back at the girl that's walking past him, right? Somebody put that meme up on Twitter today of the future stars card being the girl that's walking past that the guy's looking at and the team of the year card is the one that he was like with, right? And it's like people just kind of forgot about the team of the year promo that we just had and now everybody's all excited about future stars, which makes sense, right? It makes sense a little bit. Um, the thing that I was surprised the most by today is that uh, people were willing to just drop everything and, and sell almost any card that they had this Teo Hernandez headliner was 820,000 coins. He went all the way down to 740. He rebounded back up to 800, of course. Nice rebound there. This Diego Carlos was 475, 480. He's back to 520. Holland is up a bit because of his links, which makes sense to Gio Reyna and some hype along those lines. But um, what I would say is a lot of the cards that are maybe still kind of high, you know, out of pack inform wise, some of these freeze items, um, did some did well today, some not did. This Casemiro was 370. He's now 430. Shout out to some of the Brazilian links. Um, and of course, the Lunin link as well. I guess not really Brazilians, uh, but the Brazilian link with the League on SBC player, that did well. Uh, this this Alan St. Maxman card was 1.15, 1.14. He's up to 1.22. Uh, Chiellini was 340 this morning. And of course, with this Tonali objective coming out, he's down to 295. So there were a lot of good and a lot of bad market movements that happened today. And th the number one thing that I'm still thinking that, that we're going to see out of this weekend league is I think you're going to see a sell-off. I do think you're going to see a sell-off on a lot of cards. Um, but this market still is a very rich market. Um, the thing that I'm interested in the most is what do these future star prices do uh, since a lot of people want to try to get them in their teams. Now, of course, right now I'm, I'm listing this Kulusevsky for a lazy buyer, about 100K overpriced to try to get a lucky sale. Um, that's why you see me have him listed at 550. But I'm really curious to see what these future star items do today on Saturday. The number one thing I am expecting though, I'm expecting them to rebound a bit up into this morning. That's why I bought Bergwijn, right? I bought Bergwijn at 1.05, um, which by the way, EA Sports, you added the foot future starts card type already. 
Uh, that's like the, the fastest that you've added a quality car type. I appreciate that. But I bought this guy at 1.05, so I'm already making a nice 40,000 coins profit basically on this. He's 1.142. Um, I expect this stuff to bounce back up into the morning time UK and then get panic sold a little bit pre 6 p.m. UK because people are going to expect these guys to drop with the supply that comes from lightning rounds. But um, a lot of the higher tier cards people are gonna sell and then buy them right back because, and they're gonna rebound back. So you might see a kind of a fluctuation where you see this Bergwijn go you know, up to maybe 1.2, back down to maybe like 1.07, 1.08, but then back up to almost 1.15 or something like that um, with the lack of supply or people think that lightning rounds are gonna pummel these cards today on Saturday. I would just be careful, right? Just be careful with some of these guys. Um, some of them might be a bit... A lot of people are trying to flip these cards tonight. I will I will put that cautionary tape out there. This Serginho Dest was 370. A lot of people have bought him. They're already making coins. It's a mixture, right? Because these guys have a lot of demand, a lot of hype because they're brand new. None of these guys have really had special cards this year. Um, and now they have cards with insanely juiced stats, a cool card design. And it's everybody's just curious to see how they're actually going to play in FIFA. So there's a lot of demand for cards like that. So these guys are going to continue fluctuating. They're going to be great to trade with, fun to try out if you're actually playing the game as well. Um, but if you have cards in FIFA, like some of these uh, some of these cards, right? We're going to talk about man of the matches in a second, but let's say like a gold Neymar, 770. He's up today. Shout out to that SBC, right? Conte is going to stay down and probably continue to go down a little bit further. Varane, I think, goes down a little bit further after weekend league sell-off. Some of the gold cards that got supplied again, probably going to be trickling down. I think most of the entire market is going to get sold off a little bit after this weekend because it seems like some stuff just got a little bit too high earlier this week, especially on Monday and Tuesday with a lot of people invested in Road to the Finals and you know some headliner cards that were due upgrades and just out-of-pack investments. Um, this now is low again. I sold them at 135 almost early today. Anyway, um, I do think you'll see a decent amount of weekly sell-off because today, it all, a lot of that depends on the content that we continue to get through this promo. So we started off today with a nice SBC or Friday. We started off Friday with a nice, a nice SBC. I keep saying today, um, when I'm talking about the content, I mean Friday. When I'm talking about what could happen to the market uh, today, I mean Saturday, if that makes sense. But uh, this Bruno um, SBC, if you already have Marquinhos, people are saying, why do this SBC, right? 230, 240,000 coins to this card. It's not a bad card. It has really good links and it did cause some market movements today. But is it really worth it if you're going to, if you already have Marquinhos? I'm not sure. Now, the number one thing that we have to remember about today on Saturday is it's this right here. I don't think I already showed you this in the video uh, or talked about it yet, but we are expecting a striker from England. Today, I think today or tomorrow is an SBC. We'll figure it out if EA is either going to do the every other day like they did during Team of the Year for content-wise, or if they're going to drop back-to-back -back days with a player SBC. Now, since they said that this is going to come out, they said which position, the resulting vote will go live this weekend. So in my opinion, I think they do it on a Saturday today, um, but it's going to be an English striker. So what's going to what's that going to do for the market? You might see a little bit of, of panic selling or some sell-off today on Saturday on some of the English strikers in FIFA. A couple that come to mind right away might be a Jamie Vardy, record breakers, maybe a Harry Kane, rule breaker. If you see some uh, selling on these cards, that might be potential buy because, of course, we don't know what this SBC is going to be, who it's going to be, or how much it's going to cost. But uh, there's potential here for some market movements. If the SBC is good value, it's an insane card, really juiced up stats, then you might see guys like this Harvey Barnes. You might see him rise up in price, a direct link to that new SBC player. You might see other English links kind of re revitalized again. There, some of the English icons are still high because of... Um, because of Rooney, but you might see more of the English cards bounce back a little bit from where they maybe went down a little bit yesterday because of this new SBC. So keep an eye on that right there. That's the that's the number one thing content-wise I'm expecting today is that English striker SBC. And if it doesn't come today, then it would be tomorrow on Sunday. The other thing that we got is new man of the match cards. No Griezmann, man. I was bummed for no Griezmann, but we got a Jordi Alba. A Juan Cuadrado, Ocampos, Ospina, and Raul Garcia. 
Now, two guys are already discard. Ocampos is going to be interesting. Uh, Alba is going to be interesting. And Quadrado is the most interesting because of all the links that he provides and how hyped he is right now in FIFA. If we compare this to his very expensive Rule Breakers card, this one has um, a lot less... Uh, dribbling, right? The the big boost on the on the rule breakers card was the I think it was the passing. I'm I'm not sure what the big boost on the rule breakers card was, but this man of the match quadrado looks really nasty with the 92 dribbling. Of course, it doesn't have really high defense or physical, but this is a card a lot of honestly pros are using in the game. Now I don't know since team of the year has come out if they're using Trent or stuff like that, but this man of the match item is going to be something to keep it, it, your eye on as he fluctuates. They're going to be really rare again. Um, so that's going to be something to kind of keep watch for too. These guys are going to bounce around a lot. A lot of people are going to be looking to invest in Quadrado, Jordi Alba, and Ocampos this week because man of the matches last week were very hyped. They made people some coins. So this week, just be careful of that risk of the possible overinvestment because I do think there is a little bit of a chance there that it could get invested in a little bit too much. Last thing I want to talk about is this current team of the week. I think this current team of the week is too cheap basically the entire way around. This Salah is 1.02 million coins. Thursday, he was 1.05 and then he went up to 1.23. Now he's back down to 1.02 after weekend league, or sorry, after the supply. I mean, th the price difference here, this card's 700K and this one's a mil. I still think this Salah is a bit too cheap for the, ch the, the Salah that he is, 92 rated. This other 92 Salah with plus one shooting and plus one dribbling, um, plus, one, plus one shooting and minus one dribbling is 1.6 mil. Uh, so I think this card is too cheap. I think this team of the week in general is too cheap. Again, uh, Malikovic Savage from 90K, that's too cheap. This Delaney as a club 80 hold it gang card is a little cheap. Martinez was a little cheap. Callum Wilson, 21K, that's cheap as well. I think today on Saturday in the evening might be a great time to look at putting some money into this team of the week, doing a little bit of investment um, because so many people are going to be focused on future stars and people have lost a lot of coins on this team of the week earlier in the week. People that were trying to trade with Cancelo and Delaney, even Lautaro have lost some coins. So I would keep an eye on this. I know we've had lightning rounds and this team of the week has been supplied a little bit because of it being a promo Friday. But what I would say is definitely keep an eye on these guys today on Saturday into the evening, and it could be the potential buy time. Remember last week on Saturday, we had the guy by the name of Frankie de Young who was 170,000 coins on Saturday. And on Sunday of last week, he, he went higher. He went higher on Sunday. Uh, it says that the Sunday was his lowest, but Saturday was actually his lowest. Saturday night into Sunday was Frankie's lowest, and he started going back up towards 200K. Of course, he's back down because of the, the links to... Um, the Barcelona players didn't tie out as well uh, as there was some over-investing there. But it's just kind of a crazy market trend right now. One thing I didn't talk about, SBC fodder. I'm just rolling through it today, boys. We're going through this. It's going to be a little bit of a longer video. We're rolling through it. SBC fodder. It did drop a little bit today. Not a ton. Uh, maybe we'll take a look at the market index on the index 86s or something to, to give you a true picture of this. But fodder did drop, especially like in the higher tier range, right? 86s, the market was at 346, went down to 325, still kind of dropping, right? Uh, index 84, we'll take a look at this as well. This index was at 284 points before 6 p.m., dropped down to 246. It is now kind of risen back up as people are still doing SBCs out there. Uh, but the stuff that has dropped the most, I think, is some of this higher tier stuff. I actually finished Bruno Fernandez in my club today because I saw Oblak was 70K earlier today when I bought him. Terstegen was 63K. These guys, Oblak and like Terstegen and Allison, these guys were in the mid 70s and they dropped down a decent amount today. Now they're back up a little bit. Um, but this fodder did drop. Now I would say, see if this drops at all a little bit more today on Saturday. If the SBC that we get today is not good value or depending on how what the requirements are and stuff like that, um, that'll be something to keep an eye, a watch for. But uh, the biggest hype thing on Saturday today is going to be that SBC, depending on what EA does with it. And then, of course, people trying out more of these these new items. I'm going to go try out Bergwijn myself, again, with the four-star, four-star, and the insane stat boost. Um, I don't know how Bergwijn got in because he's, he's 23 years old. He's really not that young. And uh, I think he just got in because he's one of like the cover boys 
but uh, it's a sick card and EA is juicing them up big time. So I think that's why there's a lot of hype for this promo. And we'll talk more about Weekend League Sell-Off tomorrow, but keep an eye on the rare cards, right? The rare cards. That's the stuff you want to be watching because that's the stuff that's going to be bouncing back the quickest out of this promo, uh, depending on what it is. So that's the video for today, boys. I hope you had a good Friday on FIFA. These guys were kind of packable right away. A lot of people were, were snagging them and the pack weight was kind of up there. So that's why I'm a little bit scared for maybe some golds a little bit too that didn't rebound as, uh, back as well today that they could keep falling a little bit further. But that's the video for today, boys. If you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the count and catch you guys later. Peace out.